بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين والعاقبة للمتقين والصلاة والسلام على سيدنا محمد وعلى آله وأصحابه أجمعين. Dear respected brothers, sisters, elders, my beloved youngsters, السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته and welcome to Charity in Action, a beautiful program discussing about a lot of the initiatives that are taking place within our community and how we can assist them and the need of these institutes, the need of these organizations in the time that we're living. So I'm extremely honored to have with me today members of First Gate Masjid and Imam Zakaria Academy. And I'm honored uh, today I have with me uh, Mawlana Tayyab Sab and Mawlana Hilal Sab, who are the two Imams of First Gate Masjid. So assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah to you both. Jazakallah khair for, for coming and sharing your time with us. Um, so this is a beautiful uh, initiative and, and you'll get to hear from obviously uh, the Imams, the scholars uh, who are part of this organization and you know they'll be sort of delving into a lot about you know what actually takes place in this masjid, what actually takes place, what, what is the kind of vision <coughs> behind this organization and how you watching can actually assist us in bringing that dream into a reality inshallah. So Mawlana if I can just start with you, so JazakAllah Khair once again for coming. Now, I'm going to start with a very kind of, um, what is the role of a masjid? You know, is it, is the masjid just a place that, as long as the five salah are taking place, is that the kind of, is that the burden of the masjid relieved? Um, it's a good question, a very good question, and maybe uh, it's something that we need to explore it further, but uh, the idea of masjid that we can imagine, the very first masjid that we have in Islam is either we consider Mecca, but in there Muslims were not allowed to openly worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. The very first masjid when Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam migrated to uh, Medina Munawwara, in fact he stopped for two weeks, a uh, few kilometers, two, three kilometers before Medina Munawwara and he stopped there in, a, in an area called Quba and there he just arrived from Makkah Mukarramah and there is no place to settle yet but first thing he's worried about is Masjid so he built a Masjid and then when he moved to Medina Munawwara after two weeks that was the Masjid that he built uh, Masjid al-Nabuwi that's the second Masjid now if we if we see everything and if we read the read our Sharia, read Islam, and learn about Islam, then we know that everything is taking place in the Masjid. So there are circles of edu education, circles, uh, charity. Uh, if a person needs any help, he comes to the Masjid. So Masjid is actually uh, serving like a, I wouldn't say community center, but it attends to the need of every single need of the community. Even Masjid, it's a quote, quote, uh, quote as well. People are coming with their cases. Every aspect of life. Every aspect of life because that's the only place where everybody has access to. Masjid has, everybody has access to the masjid. So masjid, Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam catered for everybody, alhamdulillah. And there were everything, education going on. In fact, once uh, Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam was giving sermon and one sahabi came whose attire, whose, attire, whose, whose outfit and from his appearance he was appearing that he is he may be suffering from uh, financially and other uh, malnutrition and things like that and Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa wanted everybody to acknowledge that and then react and support him so Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa stopped his khutbah and he said that you have not prayed two rakat salah get up and pray so that I indirectly he wanted sahaba to see him that look at his state and subhanallah Muslims were of such a conscious mm. uh, community in those days that by just looking at somebody in this case, uh, in this appearance, they would feel sorry and they would want to help. So, mm. subhanallah, uh, Sahaba used to come in the midday mm. and some of them used to have nap in the masjid. Some of them used to perform late night tahajjud salah on a daily basis. And then they would have a, they would sleep there, then wake up again and pray salah. Abdullah ibn Umar radiallahu anhu has Ali radiallahu anhu's hadith as well that he was sleeping in the masjid. Abdullah ibn Umar radiallahu anhu. So masjid has a great responsibility. And the masjid was part of their routine. It wasn't just, okay, I come, I come for 10 minutes for Fajr, 10 minutes for Doha, 10 minutes for Asr. 
So they're no. actually a part of their life. Part of their life. Part of their life in the sense that what happens that nowadays many of us misunderstand Islam. Means many of us who are born Muslims, we mis misunderstand Islam. So we have, uh, well, due to the culture that we are part of since we were born, in fact, our ancestors were born in, the, in this culture. And that is that there is a separation and barrier between um, life, normal life, and religious life. In fact, if we, if we study the uh, sources of Sharia, uh, Quran and Sunnah, we don't, there isn't any difference. When I am at my workplace, I am a Muslim. I am a Muslim working person. When I am with my children, with my family, I am a Muslim. When I have a wedding in my family, I am a Muslim. When I'm going to the masjid, I am a Muslim. But un uh, unfortunately, uh, the norm nowadays is that people consider themselves Muslims and uh, responsible for their deen within the four walls of the masjid and when they have their own functions at ho home life is totally different than okay. what Islam so there is a shift there is a shift and I think now uh, since the change of time I think masjid plays greater role now because now we have homelessness we have uh, plus the life is not normal a person can sleep anywhere uh, it's Europe the weather is different um, summer winter timings are different so the need of the ummah has changed uh, not only that now much of it is hap happening online as well <coughs> and i don't masajid are beginning to look into this mm. now but there has to be an active role played yeah, by the masjid that was definitely which involves wider community not yeah, only the course. members of the masjid no no of course yeah. of course yeah yeah it's a community effort yes of course Mulan Sahib again jazakallah khair for for coming um, now obviously like Mulan Sahib mentioned the the masjid was like it was like a hub. It was open to everybody. You said it was the, yes. it was the only place where everyone could actually access. Yeah. So if we look at Forest Gate Masjid, Imam Zakari Academy, is it only serving the local people? Or are there people who are coming from other areas and taking benefit from this organization? <coughs> Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Inna alhamdulillah wa salatu wa salamu ala rasulillah subhanahu wa بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم فمن كان يرجو لقاء ربه فليعمل عملا صالحا ولا يشرك بعبادة ربه أحدا تذكر الله أفنا ريبوسنا الجوابين من أشهر أجي اكتو في سنة دي تويت عسى هذا الشيء ما يكبر فرد يا سلام إن شاء الله شو ما يدوس بتامن للي دشير دورير خسر دي دخان تك دخت سن شو باي كي أمادر فوق كت كي سلام دوا أو كيتوك كتا अमरादे मस्जिद न्यास काल सुना करते सी ए मस्जिद टा 19 बिरान नब्बे इंग्लिश जितने 1992 ए किसू दिन दरो दी अमरादे मुरब्बी बाई देर चिंते बोंग चेतनार फसल जरा ए मस्जिद टा शुरू कर सीलें तादर मुद्दे आज के उन्हें एक दुनिया से नहीं आमी अमरा तादर के अत्यंत श्रद्धा साथ शोरण करती है एवं दुआ करती है अल्लाह पाक जनों तादर के जानना चाहिए मुझे आला मुकाम दान करें एवं जारा बेशिया सें एवं जारा मस्जिद जनों स्वाम दिखते सें टिल टुडे तादर जनों दुआ करी अल्लाह पाक जनों तादर के नेक हायात दान करे ये मस्जिद टा एक तक गोर्दी शुरू हुआ सिलो Obviously, population बढ़ते से, demand बढ़ते से जाता है ना आज के, अल्हम्दुलिल्लाह साइट टाइगर फोसी से, तार फॉलो जो तेज़ तो ना है, कारण जनसंख्या का बढ़ते से, जाता है ना आम आदमी गौर अल्हम्दुलिल्लाह वने मैं मुसल्ली देर एवं दूर देर लोकेलेर जब भी आपने बोलते हैं जिस चीज़ लोकेलेर फायदा Alhamdulillah, Moktob, school, etc. I will tell you that you will know that you will know, inshallah. I will tell you the point that I will tell you. In our case, the building is not going to be able to do it. In our case, the Masjid Committee, local Muslims, all the time, the Masjid Committee, 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 बंगा गोला लगे एक दिक एक दिक बंगा इटा खोटे खोटे और नित्य के बंगा हो जाए खाने कोस्ट पेशी पड़े दिक्कतों लोड़ा एनाफ जगह और नाइस पेशी नाफ ना है 
আমরা যদি ব্যাংকের অতিনবায় বানাই তাহলে আমাদের দুইটা প্রবলেম সলভ হবে লং টাইম ভিশন বাস্তবে আসবে এই জন্য আমরা পারমিশন চেয়েছিলাম আলহামদুলিল্লাহ পারমিশন হয়েছে এবং এই পারমিশনটা শেষ হওয়ার মানে যে টাইমের ভিতরে হওয়ার দরকার এই টাইমটা অলমোস্ট শেষ হয়ে যাইতেছে এই জন্য আমরা ইনশাল্লাহ চব্বিশ তারিখ এপ্রিলের মনে হয় দশ এগারো রমজান পড়বে আমরা এপ্রিল নিয়ে আসবো এই ব্যাপারে আপনাদেরকে আরও বেশি আমরা ইনফর্ম পরিবর্তিত করবো এখন আপনাদের কাছে এটাই আমাদের আবেদন যে এখন শাহবানের মাস বরকতের মাস ফজিলতের মাস আমরা এটার জন্য দোয়া করি এবং এই যে চব্বিশ তারিখের এপ্রিল যেটা আছে ওইটাকে সাকসেস করার জন্য যেভাবে আমরা সাইটটা গড় করতে সবাই সহযোগিতা করেছেন লোকের বাহিরের সবাই শুধু আমাদের দেশে না প্রত্যেক কমিউনিটির সবাই সাহায্য করতেছেন এবং প্রত্যেক কমিউনিটির বাচ্চারা কমিউনিটির বাচ্চারা এখানে আসতেছে মুসল্লি আসতেছে এই জন্য আমার আবেদন হবে যে আমরা এই চব্বিশ এপ্রিল শনিবার পরে চব্বিশ এপ্রিল শনিবার ওইটাকে সাকসেস করার জন্য আমরা সবাই যেন ইজতেমাইভাবে কালেকটিভলি যেন আমরা মেহনত করি যাতে আমাদের যে ফার্স মিলিয়নের প্রয়োজন আলহামদুলিল্লাহ মধ্যে আমাদের ভালো একটা অ্যামাউন্ট আছে আমাদের কাছে ওগুলো পরে আলাপ বলবেন এবং অনেকটা বাকি রয়েছে এই জন্য আমার আকুল আবেদন হইলো যারা আমাদের দেখতেছেন শুনতেছেন যারা লোকেল আছেন অনেক আছেন আমাদের এখানে নমাজ পড়ে না দূরে থাকেন কিন্তু ওরা সহযোগিতা করতে আলহামদুলিল্লাহ যখন আমাকে আজকে অনেকে ফোন করে বলছে যে ইনশাল্লাহ আপনারা যান আমরা আমাদের সহযোগিতা আছে আপনারা বয় করবেন ফাইবেন না সামনে বাড়েন এই জন্য আমি সবার কাছে এটা আবেদন করতেছি যে আমরা এই মসজিদে যেভাবে সহযোগিতা করতেছি এটা শুধু একটা কমিটির কাজ না এটা একটা কমিউনিটির কাজ এটা শুধু বাংলাদেশের লোকের কাজ না সকল দেশের লোকের কাজ প্রত্যেক মুসলমানের এটা দায়িত্ব এই জন্য আমরা এটার মধ্যে প্রত্যেকে হিস্সা নেওয়া আমাদের জন্য অত্যন্ত জরুরি So just as uh, Mulan Halal actually mentioned, first I mentioned the Imam Zakari, Zakari Academy will be coming uh, on TV1, Channel 781, on the 24th of April, inshallah, to be raising funds for the Masjid. So, you know, this is more like a, a, sig- like a prequel. It is, this is almost like a little trailer. You know, we've, we've come here to just tell you about, to really sell you the dream, to tell you, you know, what the vision is about this organization, what kind of effort is actually taking place and you know how we would really want everyone to take part and, and really take part in this, uh, in, in this uh, beautiful organization, inshallah. Now, Mulan Tayyib, um, obviously Mulan Hilasa mentioned in brief some of the um, activities that take place. He mentioned the school, obviously we have Zakaria Primary School. I wanted to kind of just delve on the Alimiya side because this is um, not like your traditional, what people would think, traditional Alim, you know, you're going to a boarding school, you're staying there for seven years, and then you come back. Can you just give us a little bit about, you know, who is this kind of Alimia program aimed for and what kind of people are actually attending and taking benefit from this? So roughly starting in about 2005, when some youth in the locality, surrounding areas, they approached uh, the responsible person who used to organize this education and said that we would like to start something if you can facilitate for us. And there were only a few youngsters, about eight, nine, mm. uh, and then it increased. So we, s- we facilitated for them. And at the beginning, uh, only one group of students, so only a couple of teachers used to teach. So certain subjects, yeah. all the subjects were divided into between the two, 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 three teachers who were already there. And these youngsters, I mean Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala uses anybody Allah. to um, to, to do, carry out the deen work or start a project, start a project, and then everybody benefits from it. Um. So this is how it started. And to tell you, those students who were there, part of it, they actually changed their whole direction of their life because they wanted to achieve this mm. and they could see very on a doorstep of their home and they didn't have to go to madrasa or things like that. Um, alhamdulillah. So now we have about 70 to 80 students um, it's a seven years course, it's quite a long course, um, and they know what they are stepping into. Um, we, before what happened that people used to join us not knowing what they are going into. So now we take an interview, we, we make it very, very clear, yeah. it's a long time, it's a long journey. Mm. In between your life will we'll go through many phases, right, you know, like uh, education, work, career, mm. marriage. Mm. Um, life uh, with extended family members so they they know they're very committed so we get um, generally is for over 16s 
So students who are studying college, uh, at college, uh, various subjects, you, you name it, all the subjects, right? Uh, medicine. And you have professional people. Professionals. So these very same youngsters, yeah. they go on to uh, study further in university. And then they go on to career. And they are still with us because it's a seven years course. Yeah. It has happened that student has started with us and he has also taken the enrollment at the college. And the day he graduated, the same year he became a doctor. Mashallah. So, alhamdulillah, alhamdulillah. alhamdulillah. It's, it's fantastic to see, it's really, really um, humbling to see these youngsters, they are thriving and they're sacrificing their, much of their free time, much of their free, it's a three, three and a half hours every single day, plus sometimes weekends, plus exam times, they have to invest more time. So, alhamdulillah, but we got, you name it, engineers, doctors, accountants, dentists, um, teachers, um, they all, alhamdulillah. And, and, and generally, what's the sort of feedback you're getting from these students? Like, how many are qualifying every year? You know, they're actually becoming an alim, and then <coughs> do they go on to also become um, like a da'i or become a scholar somewhere and, and you know, also working in the field of deen So, well? what we have to understand here is, um, First of all, students, they are coming in for their own benefits. Of course. Right? That's the, that's the first thing. So the lifestyle of a student, when he comes to us over the seven-year period, uh, he exactly doesn't know what, what is on his way. Mm. He exactly doesn't know. He has a rough idea, I'm studying alimiya. I'm yeah. studying uh, tafsir of the Quran, explanation of the hadith. But he doesn't have, rough, uh, he doesn't have exact idea. Yeah. And what uh, a sincere student who um, starts this journey for his own development, for his own spiritual development, then what happens that Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam's teaching, teachings of Islam has everything to offer you in every aspect of our life. So what we see is they change every aspect of their life. So that must be very pleasing to see like a like a, almost like a dramatic <coughs> change sometimes in e the students. N not I I almost every, every student. student sure. Almost every. B basically, their their vision, their thinking, everything changes. Everything changes. It becomes positive. They become very, very uh, valuable assets for the community. Mashallah. Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah. No, it's excellent. Mashallah. Um, so obviously, viewers, you've been you know just listening to uh, the two imams. Know, mentioning some of the sort of activities that are taking place, uh, some of the you know real benefit that people are taking from Forest Gate Masjid Imam Zakir Academy. You know, for example, this Alimiya course, um, a seven-year course, like uh, Malana Tay mentioned. But as you can imagine, you know, these classes are being filled by students who are also at the same time studying to become doctors and lawyers and engineers and and teachers and every other profession that you can think of. A lot of them are already professionals who you know mature students who also come to study here as Parents. well. Parents, they have Parents. three, four children. MashaAllah. No, uh, but, and I, I guess if this opportunity wasn't available, then where would they go? They, would, this, uh, this they wouldn't even think that. They right, wouldn't, exactly. That wouldn't even have go across their, their mind. mind. Yeah. Across their mind. It wouldn't, it wouldn't cross of their course. mind, yeah. No, no, of course. So, you know, you've been hearing about, uh, you know, a lot of the benefit that's happening at Imam Zakar Academy, Forest Gate Masjid. Um, we will be going for a very short break now, inshallah. But do stay tuned and join us after the break. And we'll see you then. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.
Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah, dear respected brothers and sisters, elders and beloved youngsters, welcome back to Charity in Action. Uh, just before the break, we were speaking with the two Imams of Forest Gate Masjid and Imam Zakir Academy. We had both Simona Tayyab and Mona Hilal Sab. Uh, just kind of giving us, really enlightening us, giving us um, a real deep down into, you know, a lot of the services that are taking place in Forest Gate uh, Masjid and, and, and the, you know, the, the sheer number of people that are actually benefiting from this organization. Now, I'm very honored to have with me um, two more guests. Uh, so initially, I have with me uh, Wahid Ali, brother Wahid Ali, um, Junid, Mujibur Rahman, by, sorry, Assalamu alaikum. I can't believe I forgot your name there, subhanAllah. <laughs> you, you put me under pressure, I think. I think I looked at you and I felt pressure there. But alhamdulillah, and, and on my far right, I have Adil Haq, Assalamu alaikum. Zakal Akhir to both of you for, for joining us. Um, obviously, just before the break, we had uh, the two Imams discussing about a lot of the services that are taking place. Uh, Munah Hadal Sahib mentioned in brief. Now, if I can start with uh, Junaid Bhai. Uh, you know, what really goes on in the masjid? You know, everyone hears that Forest Gate Masjid is open from Fajr till Isha non-stop like ev this is what we keep hearing you know that's true yeah. is this w what is actually happening is it just open nothing is just open or what's actually happening in this masjid oh. bismillahirrahmanirrahim <coughs> okay better i covered the bangla side that would you cover the english no side okay no so yeah after a hunch on the masjid cover both mansions and the further to deal there is some reason mr kuno harana say the masjid khoda this one Masjid Amra Shuru, a father to father by the Hafiz class, Arabadi Islamic school, primary school, and then again, Bikale Abar Moktab, then again, after quarter to six to nine o'clock, Alim, Alim class. So basically, whole day busy. Astadin, Mudamuti Moshid, busy as a Moshid the Bala service for it, Nihamar Maje, I'm Hoytamu Boje, Moshid the Kubata Bala service for Islam, not Maja, one of the Moshid that has service for it. তাহলে এই যে সার্ভিস ওয়ার ঘরে এখন আমরা যে দেশে যে আমরা জায়গা সংকুলন এখন খুব এবং আমরা যে স্কুল যেখানে আছে স্কুলের রিকোয়ারমেন্টও আছে সব কিছু আছে জানেন আমরা অফ স্টেডের রিকোয়ারমেন্ট আছে সে এগুলা কভার করার লাগি এখন আমরা নয়া মসজিদ বানানি দরকার যেন নয়া মসজিদ মসজিদে ফ্যাসিলিটিস বাড়াইবার দরকার মসজিদের অ্যাকোমোডেশন বাড়াইবার দরকার আছে এই যে আমরা এখানে যে সার্ভিস দেওয়ার কত হাফিজ আমরা মাশাআল্লাহ এখান থেকে গেছেন এবং আমরা প্রাইমারি স্কুল থেকে ইভেন আমার মেয়েও প্রাইমারি স্কুল পড়ি আবার আজকে মাস্টার্স পাস করিয়া আর তারপর হরে অনেক মেয়ে যে দিনই শিক্ষা লইয়া গেছে যে বেসিকলি যে আমরা প্রাইমারি স্কুলের যে যে ফাউন্ডেশন যে এটা হইল যে যে দিনই শিক্ষা লইয়া যাওয়া যে এখন যদি ছোটটা কি দিনই শিক্ষা শিখিয়া যায় তাইলে ভবিষ্যতে যে যে প্লেসও যাক হ্যাঁ এখানে গিয়ে দিন প্রচার করব দিন ইসলাম সম্মত বাজার করব যে কেউ কেউ আছে এখান থেকে গিয়ে হতো মিনিস্টার হইতে পারে মিনিস্টার যদি তার বিগ গ্রুপ আছে হ্যাঁ এখানে দিন প্রতিষ্ঠা করতে পারবো তাহলে আনবার বেশ উদ্দেশ্য হইল যে মানুষের দিন দেওয়া দিন শিক্ষা দেওয়া একবারে ছোটো থেকে লইয়া আলিম ক্লাস মাসা আল্লাহ এখান বারবার মুজিব ভাই হইয়া তা হয়নি যে আমরা এখান ডেন্টিস্ট ইঞ্জিনিয়ার বড়ো বড়ো মানুষ যারা বিভিন্ন জায়গাত বড়ো বড়ো চাকরি করা বড়ো বড়ো জায়গাত প্রতিষ্ঠান তারা খেতা করা তারাই আমরা এখানে আলিম হইয়া তো তারার আগ্রহ দেখিয়া আমরা উৎসাহিত হয়েছি হ্যাঁ এনকারেজমেন্ট হয়েছি হ্যাঁ দেখার নেই তারা অত বড়ো চাকরি করার বাদেও তারা যে দিনই শিক্ষা করার যে তলব তারার ভিতরে যদি আমরা খুশি ইয়া আমরা এখানেও আমরা কমিটি এখানে তার আলিম ক্লাস খুলছেন এবং মার্শাল আল্লাহ প্রত্যেক বছর যে পাঁচজন সাতজন দশজন আলিম হয়ে যায় খালি অনলি আলিম নাই মার্শা আল্লাহ এখানে একটা জিনিস মনে হয় আমরা এখানে ফার্স্ট যে থ্রু আরবি থেকে লইয়া সরাসরি ইংলিশে আগে তো আমরা দেশ ও বিদেশ আলিম হইতা আরবি দেন উর্দু বায়া বা বাংলা বায়া দেন আলিম হইতা সো নেক্সট জেনারেশনের কথা চিন্তা করিয়া আমরা কমিটি বা অন্যান্য যারা এখানে আলিম ক্লাস আর যারা উস্তাদ ক্লাস হয়েছে চিন্তা করছে যে না আমরা আরবি থেকে ইংলিশ কারণ নেক্সট জেনারেশন অতটা বাংলা বুঝেন না অতটা উর্দু বুঝেন না এর লাগি ইংলিশে গিয়া তারা যেখানে আলিম হইয়া যায় বা থ্রু আউট ইউকে ও হোয়াট এভার থ্রু আউট ওয়ার্ল্ড তারা সার্ভিস করতে পারবে হ্যাঁ তো এই হলো আমরা মেন উদ্দেশ্য তো উদ্দেশ্য হলো আমরা দিন শিখা দিনে সার্ভ করা সমাজের দিন সার্ভ করা এই কেন এর লাগে আমরা যে এই ফাইভ মিলিয়ন প্রজেক্ট যে আমরা মসজিদ দিছি আমরা ইনশাআল্লাহ যে এই উদ্দেশ্য হলো এটাও যে সার্ভ করা দিনের উদ্দেশ্যে সার্ভ করা আমরা ইনশাল্লাহ যে দিন আমরা গেছে নিজের গেছে আইতো দিন আমরা নেক্সট জেনারেশনে আইতো হ্যাঁ নেক্সট জেনারেশনে দিন যদি নাই 
তো আমরা যদি দিন শিক্ষা দিন দিয়ে যদি না যাই তো এমন অবস্থাই বো যে আমি প্রায় জায়গাতেও আমি হইয়া দেখি যে ব্রাজিল আর্জেন্টিনাত তৎকালীন সময়ে আরব পেনিসোলা থেকে যে সাহাবা করার আজমানি সকল ফরে তাবে তাবে এই নিন তারা গেছিলা বা যে কোনো ও সময়ের মধ্যে গেছিলা কিন্তু হিকা নাকি যাওয়ার ফলে তারা মসজিদ খুলছ তারা এবার তো হর্ষ খুলছে কিন্তু দিন রে সামনে একবার এবার লাগি খুঁজছো হরিয়াতে গেছিলাম যার কারণে আজকে যে হিকানো মানুষ যারা যায় খারগুজারিয়া যে মসজিদ বন্ধ রিজন কীটা রিজন কীটা নেক্সট জেনারেশনের লাগি তারা কোনটা হরিয়াতে ইয়া গেছে না যার কারণে আজকে দেখা যায় যে সেখানেও একই করে হিন্দু মুসলমান খ্রিস্টান থাকে কোনো ভেদাভেদ নাই কারণ দিন প্রচার হয়েছে না দিনের উপরে মেহনত হয়েছে না আমরা চাইলাম যে অ্যাটলিস্ট মিনিমাম ইউ কে এটা না হোক যে আমরা যে নেক্সট জেনারেশন আমরা এখন সেকেন্ড জেনারেশন হতে থার্ড ফোর্থ ফিফথ জেনারেশনও যাই আমরা বাচ্চা যাতে দিন রে তারা না বলে যে যেখানেও যাও মেইন উদ্দেশ্য হলো যে দিনের প্রায়োরিটি যেখানে তো দিনের প্রায়োরিটি আমি মুসলমান ফার্স্ট দেন হোয়াট এভার আই এম আই এম ফার্স্ট হইলে আই এম মুসলমান এর লাগে এই আমরা মেহনত আর এই মেহনত লাগে আমরা আজকে চাইলাম যে খালি আমরা নাই আমরা টোটাল কমিউনিটি টোটাল ইউকের মানুষ টোটাল দুনিয়ার যে কোনো জায়গার মানুষ আজকে ওইগুলোকে সোশ্যাল মিডিয়ার মাধ্যমে মানুষ এক দুনিয়ার এক কোনা থেকে আর কোনা যোগাযোগ করতে পারে মিনিট অবিতে খবর হইতে পারে সবে এটার ফলে একটা ফোকাস করুক দেহ গা এক একটা অর্গানাইজেশন দিয়ে আমরা সামনে তুলিয়া লিয়ে যাই তাইলে ওইব কীটা যে এই দিন প্রচার হইব এবং দিন হইব হওয়া যায় না একদিন ইনশাল্লাহ এই দেশের মাঝে হয়তো মুসলমানের জিনিস আইতে পারে বা আমরা যে যে জিনিস আমরা ভবিষ্যতে বর্তমানে দেখা যায় যে আমরা অনেক জিনিসের মাঝে আমরা বাধা বিপত্তি হয় হয়তো আমার এই দিনের মেহনত হয় এই বাধা বিপত্তি যাইব বিভিন্ন ধরনের আমরা যেমন ধরো প্ল্যানিং পারমিশন হয়তো আমরা আজ সময় লাগছে কিন্তু আমরা মানুষ যদি আস্তে আস্তে এই দিনই মানুষগুলি আস্তে আস্তে বিভিন্ন প্রতিষ্ঠানও যায় কাউন্সিলও বিভিন্ন প্রকার যায় দিন ডে প্রতিষ্ঠা করা সহজ হইব mentioned about a lot of the services, a lot of the activities that are taking place in this masjid. But these services, call it the school, call it um, the alimiya, call it everything else that's actually taking place in this masjid. Is it just serving the people of Frans Gaye? Is it just, you know, are we, are we, obviously people who are watching, there's people from other boroughs, other localities. But, you know, who, who, what is Frans Gaye masjid and who are they serving? Is it just the local people or are there pe- other people from the local area that are also coming? and take him benefit. Jazakallah Sif. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. I hope um, everyone is watching. I try to um, tell everyone, notify everyone to watch this program. Um, just, I'll come back to your question in a minute. What we really want to do today is let our viewers know, our friends, our relatives know that on the 24th of April, it's a Saturday, from 4 p.m. to 4 a.m., we will be appealing to the masses, to the viewers, to our friends, our relatives, and all the people that come to Forest Gate Masjid. Now, going back to your question, I'm very proud to say that uh, we do not only serve Forest Gate or Newham. Alhamdulillah, we serve them but we serve the wider community. Now, our services go as far as St. Albans. Students from St. Albans are coming here. So this is a very big sacrifice, one particular student, and I used to always greet him, give him salam, and uh, I used to appreciate the fact that you're traveling, and he used to travel by train, subhanAllah. And I used to see this nur on his face, and um, I forgot his name, he he was um, working as well, and he is to travel. Um, if I talk about the adult alim class, yes, they come from far and wide, from other towns yeah. as well. And do not be touched on what kind of people actually come here. The other, other day I was driving through Manor Park, and one particular student, he, he always looked a bit tired and so on when he used to come into the building. <laughs> and I used to think, he's nearly finished his alim course. The other day I found out he's a builder and I was actually very proud to see that that a builder has made time to become an alim, to become a scholar. Now what does that show? That this is what we need to understand. Today we had limited the services of the deen to the ulama and sometimes they only concentrate on the deen. But if you're going back, if you go back to history, like the golden age of Islam, in Spain, for example. Now the ulama, they were scholars, but they were scientists. They were doctors, 
the specialists in their field as well. Yes. So they were they had the deen in front of them, and they also had the because deen just doesn't cover deen, but deen covers dunya as well. So if you talk about Ibn Sina rahmatullahi, he was a scholar, but he was the master of medicine, subhanallah. And many scholars. So this is uh, this is what we're seeing in Forest Gate that people from all walks of life, alhamdulillah, they're coming into the masjid and benefiting and becoming scholars. And we all need to be proud of this because it is ours. It's not just Forest Gate Masjid or Imam Zakari Academy, but we can be proud of the fact that it is ours and it belongs to the Muslims of Forest Gate and of course all the Muslims because it's something that we need to be uh, proud of. Now, if we again go back to the time of Sahaba radiallahu anhum, they led by example. And inshallah, this is what we want to produce as well, that through their character, through the, their uh, dealings and so on, Islam came into existence. Islam spread through the Sahaba radiallahu anhum. So we are very pleased and I think all of us should be pleased that we have something like this Shabbat. in Forest Green Masjid. Inshallah, no, Jazakallah khair for that. Um, Junabai, yeah. Forest Gate Masjid, obviously, as it is now, and obviously, planning permission has been granted, um, and it's a it's a very ambitious project. But what is the what is the vision of Forest Gate Masjid? Because there's one thing building a masjid, but that's not the vision. Yeah. What is the vision of Forest Gate Masjid and Imam Zakari Academy? Come now, Alhamdulillah. Shondor question for Sunjay. Ashale Moschid. I'm back to Fisajai. Moschid and Obubi. Huzur Salah Wale Salam. Moschid and Obubi Bill for Sweet Ikano Kali Moschid Nai. Shop Kisu Sarvis Ikano. Bisara Adalot, Sar Manusur, Zoruro, Shop Kisu Sarvis. Kuria Shomaya Silisham Hukumota Sil. Elagi Moschid was a head motto. He said Zikiribado. This is a manager learning, teaching, learning. Shop to is a Moschid. The Moschid Kaliabado Kanai. Yeah. It's not only the worship place. Moshib Taki Shomajor Lagi Manushore Shop Kyu Sabora. Shomajor Maj Manushur, Shop Kuzi Nyaniti Potishtagora, Bizar Potishtagora, Shop Kusi Potishtagora. The Ita Kortoil Kita Hortibo. I'm right educated to Bra, Shikito Dibo Kunbra, the Dini Line Shikito, Hosur Solala Salam. Through Sahaba and Madhurma Adhome, they are teaching the Agasla. A teaching re potisht ho raha hoyega. A moshi the ruddesh. Jokhon Islam potishti doi dibo. Islam aur majhe complete din jaise mar majhe manusher ke sahi bo. Tokhon manusher ke shop ki sushe ho dibo. Bizar shoh dibo. Suri danda mei bandhu dibo. Shop ke manush tokhon bala dibo. Tera manush jokhon bala dibo, tokhon shomaje er fayda fayi bo. Er fruit fayi bo shomaje. And like a moshiid khali washi place na ki. Ami kisu upset hoy kisu kisu moshiid boro boro building. Site of Ashta Gordia Moshid Banaisui, Nomas for in Talamaria Denki. And Kali Moshid, Kali Nomada Talamarajagana. Igano Jalan Amra, Alhamdulillah, the Forest Gate Moshid, the example you get Maja Jamra, again, beginning of program or beginning of Islam, Jamra Shahaluguli, Bikal, Shampuno, Din. Moshid Astad in service top. Moshid Novi Kunusha Talamaro is ena. Moshid Novi. Which way? Obviously, you know, Geneva mentioned about the vision or, or how the whole concept about, you know, what do we want? Forest Gate Masjid, Imam Zakir Academy, to be like. But in terms of, if we talk about, in terms of the services now, you know, so we're running a primary school, we've got the Maktab, you know, you have the Alimiya, the Alima course in the weekends as well. But what's the dream? What, what's the vision in that sense? Like, what else are we, are you looking to kind of have in this Masjid as well, as a service to the, lo the public? This is a very beautiful question, and I will like to elaborate on that. The vision. Now, Junadbai touched on uh, the role of the masjid. I'll take a couple of minutes on the role of the masjid. The role of the masjid is amazing. It's uh, has a the masjid has a very big role. Now, it is part and parcel of our society. Sahaba radiallahu anhum they were connected to the masjid to the extent that when they would go to work they would come and pray to rakat and from the masjid they'd go to work this is how connected so they'd come to the masjid and then leave for work from the masjid so we want to create this spirituality that 
the masjid is part and parcel of our life and we are it plays a big role and we use the masjid all, all the time and um, going back to the vision what do we want from this masjid what do we want to achieve now we would like to produce from the musallis uh, to the educational services that we provide, the alimia course, the maktab, the sister sanatayn course, what result do we want to see in the students? So we would like to see that they are obedient to Allah. La ilaha illallah. And they, I include myself in this, that we follow the life of beloved Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa so every Muslim, we all have three responsibilities. What are they? Number one is to learn deen. Number two, to practice the deen. So we go back to the obedience of Allah, the sunnah of Nabi Wasallam. Third responsibility is that we spread Islam. Islam breaches the four corners of the world. So the vision that we have today, I'd like to share uh, with, uh, with uh, us amongst ourselves. And the viewers that are watching i hope everybody is watching so we have a primary school now for example our next step is to open a nursery school inshallah moving further on we'd like to have a secondary school so we're primary we have a secondary sure. then we'd like to have college inshallah we'd like to have a university the masjid being the foundation of everything so everybody uses the masjid the services they get closer to Allah, the spirituality side, and then they go back to their departments. They study the deen and so on. This is the vision. This is the dream. It is a very, it's a very big, big dream. It's a very ambitious dream. It's a very ambitious. It is a very big dream. So the viewers that are watching, we request your du'as, number one. And number two, on the 24th of April, we have a very ambitious dream as well. Inshallah. We are to raise two million pounds. Now... I will break it down. Two million pounds is not a big amount. If we share it out with 1,000 people, it equates to 2,000 pounds each. I think we can achieve this on the 24th of April. And I hope this go message goes far and wide. And we, Malatayab, shall I finish? No, no, you come in. Come. Okay. Malatayab gave a very beautiful example today. It touched my heart. He said, if we are earning 1,000 pounds a month, for example, and after our needs are fulfilled, we pay the bills, we pay the rent, so on. We may have 200 pounds left. Mm -hmm. Put that into the masjid. I'm going to just stop you there. I think we've got a caller online, inshallah. Oh, so we'll, let, let's take that call. Uh, Assalamu alaikum, caller. Assalamu alaikum, rahmatullah. Yes, wa alaikum salam. Yes, what's your Jee. name? Jee, I'm going to program. Jee. I'm going to program. I'm going to project. So, inshallah, I'm going to program. Inshallah, Inshallah. Okay, Allah khair for that beautiful call. Um, yes, Mujibay, you, you, so he gave the beautiful example that in the month of Ramadan. Then he gave another beautiful example. He said, "Okay, let's say you earn ten thousand pounds. Now this is a difference between a thousand pounds and ten thousand pounds." And he said, "Okay, after your bills, your mortgage, whatever." You've got four thousand pounds left. It's a substantial amount, four thousand pounds. What did he say beautifully? That this four thousand pounds goes to the masjid. So, inshallah, this is the month of Ramadan, the month of blessing. It is coming, brothers and sisters. I hope my family friends are watching. Uh, I've been pushing them. <laughs> I'm going to push them again. That um, let's put our hands on our pockets, inshallah, and. Uh, raise that raise that money inshallah so what's your final message if you, if you were to look into the camera and speak to your friends your family and people who are watching um, what's your final message to them once again my message is that we we need your du'as number one and we all need to make this intention that for this month we want to raise two million pounds this message should get into our ears and into our hearts and then we need to do something about it so please Remember this date, on the 24th of April, inshallah, we're coming back. And our and if, masjid... And if people wanted to say, for example, they don't have the 1,000 pounds, or they don't have the 2,000, but they want to raise it, 
Just giving. For, is first get message on just giving? Yes, we have got just giving pages. Again, those have my number. We've been opening just giving pages. Perfect. We need your email, and we will open the just giving page for you. So or, you can or, or they can do it. I mean, a lot of people know how to do it. They just need to find the charity, and then just open up their page. Online. Mm -hmm. Yes. Exactly. Uh, this will be better as well. You can do it yourself. It takes 10 minutes to yeah. uh, set up and uh, this can be done. Shabbat. And uh, there's many ways. There's many ways. There's traditional ways. There's digital ways. Yeah. Uh, there's so many ways. If you haven't got money, no problem. You need to take this foreign concern, this pain. That okay, I'm going to give five hundred, but you know what? I'm going to raise fifty thousand. I always yeah, no exactly because not everyone will have the money, but they can raise money. They everyone can, raise, can money. raise money. Yes, yes, and this Small is Rabbi amount, large amount, whatever it is, yes. they can do it. Oh, oh well, look, a pound is worth seventy thousand pounds in the month of Ramadan. Mm. So, very big reward. Inshallah. Okay, Janet, by your final words to the viewers. <laughs> Shabhi Allah gor moshi do jalan fadi ya pound ekile ya khadar pound jalan fadi jab shori ke ya moshi do shori ke ita am Ramadan ho ya pound kore le shatthar pound or swab Inshallah jodi ya khadar pound ita sahein jodi family ma the five member ta ke duisho pound each jodi and jodi na faro in relative sorke se jaoke ya shab pound kore relative sorke se jodi na faro fifty pound break it down small amount ekile beche dilo the shab or kaise request Inshallah apna ra moshi do shori ke ka apna jatho do faro ke ka twenty fourth of April Saturday four to four apna ra Television I bad, yes, so my motto, I have not to do for an inshallah, Avnara, a donation or a lava cavern, a donation on my dome, a mosquito potish to the woman, Dunia, a mosquito service. Just very quickly, um, just before the show of Nehotasla, about this one pound at a kidnapped one pound campaign at a whistle, one pound campaign, just giving over other, what do you have to do? One pound campaign will basically amra link the moment, let's say, I'm ready two million people, like I said, eight pound for you, two million pound easy. Even in Bangladesh, India, Pakistan, one pound appeal for Tabarwa online on my channel. I don't know if you have a question. 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 Inshallah, inshallah. So Jazakallah khair uh, to both of you again for coming, for you know sharing your, your you know sharing your time and your zeal and your energy with us. To be honest, so look, Jazakallah khair to everyone who uh, watched Charity in Action. You know the message really needs your help. You know the bottom line is there's there's a, there's a massive dream. Like Mujib Bai said, like you know Junaid Bai said, like Mona Tayyab and Mona Hilal Sab both said, the masjid has a massive dream. Imam Zakaria has a massive dream. And in order to achieve that dream, you know, not not only will we need the 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 help and the tawfiq from Allah subhanahu wa taala, you know, all of this that has happened even so far has happened through the tawfiq of Allah and through your support. So again, to expand this and go further, we need your support, inshallah. So on the twenty fourth of April, would you wait again? It's twenty fourth of April from four to four. Yes. Twenty fourth of April from four p.m. to four a.m. Channel seven eight one do join in and really really you know like Mujibai mentioned really take it upon yourself you know feel the pain of of you know when, a, when an institute or when an organization comes to you and they're in need know that that need is not for them that need is actually for the community so it's not that I feel pain that if my masjid and I want to have a, a beautiful masjid it's because that the service that we can give to the community will increase by having this project come to fruition, inshallah. So again, Jazakallah khair to everyone for joining in in charity action today on behalf of Forest Gate Masjid and Imam Zakaria Academy. Do join us on the 24th of April again. Put that in your diary, inshallah. 24th of April from 4 p.m. to 4 a.m. Um, I think it's like the 11th or 12th of Ramadan. So do join us then, inshallah. And until then, do take care of yourself and we'll see you then. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.